<laughs> oh, I love it. Hey guys, uh, this is Zach. That is loud. Uh, hey guys, this is Zach. Uh, I know what, this is a late Thursday upload, maybe Friday, I don't know, we're seeing, but uh, Dream Daddy just came out, and I've been so excited and waiting for this game. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it's the game the Game Grumps came out with, and I... Smiles. Oh, here. But I've been waiting for this game so long, and I promised myself that as soon as it was available, I would record it and make a video. So here we are. Let's get into it. New game. Never give up, never remember. Okay. You can't beat the whammy bar. Good old dad tips. Dad tip 20, keep your word. Uh, the reason I'm so excited about this and the Game Grumps is, I don't know how many others of you follow the Game Grumps or pay attention to the Game Grumps, but they have been... I've been paying attention to them for years, and they've been very implement, influential into my own personal humor and... They've just been at, at sleeping. Sleeping? Who's sleeping? More sleeping. Stop sleeping. Dad. Uh, Dad, wake up. Pretend to be dead. <laughs> I let my tongue rattle out of my mouth and stop breathing. Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dad. It says it worked on me since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. <laughs> Dad, I swear to God. <laughs> Amanda, I bequeath you all of my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. Okay, well, your corpse better get into a moving into the moving man, because it's leaving soon. Uh. Finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the room, spooning a <laughs> moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, man to panda. Uh. Go brush your teeth. Eat a lot of broccoli. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, the Game Grumps have been very near, near and dear to me personally as... Uh, influence for my own personal humor on YouTube and off, and it's just I've I owe so much of who I am to them. So to represent them on my channel means a lot to me. So I'm I'm, I'm excited to be able to do that now. To to be able to represent them without specifically copying them is what I'm saying. Is like I could totally just throw. Dad. Oh dear. I could totally just throw constant Game Grumps jokes out all the time, but then I'd just be copying the Game Grumps, and that's no fun. Okay, Athletic Tank Bod, Thick Tank Bod, Slim Tank Bod. Uh, let's do that one. Head, what do we got for heads? Okay, like, baby face supreme, because when I shave, I'm super baby face. What do we got for hair? It's daddy hair, pretty much. It's Aaron hair, pretty much. White guy cornrows. Oh, boy. Uh, what do we got? Oh. Oh, I like that fro. That fro speaks to me. Oh, Goku hair. Gotta have the Goku hair. I'm sticking with the fro. I like the fro. Um green. Mm, purple. Yeah, purple fro. No, I'm trying to change. No, pasty white. Pasty white, there we go. Hair's good. Eyes. Uh, oh, 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 the Kawaii. The ka the Kawaii, the, or angry, and no, no, we're going with Kawaii. Kawaii. Big Shujo eyes, there we go. And uh, purple. Deep purple? No. Pink. Pink eyes, there we go. Uh, noses. Um. Oh, there we go. Even better. Mouths. Uh. Yeah, that's 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 the shit ending grin for the ages. There we go. Brows. Uh. Like. Oh. Oh. The Danny scar. What do we got? I'm kind of digging those. In blue. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Facial hair. What do we got? Pencil mustache? Uh, no. Um. You know, I'm going to go clean shaven on this one. 
I, uh, yeah, clean shaven. Glasses. I can't see without my glasses. Uh. I can't see my beautiful pink eyes. Piercings. Uh, I'm not gonna do that one. Clothing. Oh dear. Oh my. I mean, there's Bergy. Just a plain white t shirt. Uh, there's the Danny Sex Bang. Tempting. But probably not. Oh my god, purple kitties. There we go. Purple kitty. Purple kitty dress shirt in a suit. Oh, I love it. Okay, looking good, Daddy. Yeah. Oh, boy. Um. Uh, oh, what do I want to name this guy? Ah, shit. Um. Randall. Randall Cramp. Let's do this. Don't trust gas station egg sandwiches. I have experience with that, and I can vouch for that. Treat people better than they treat you. Well, huh. duh. Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. Hmm? What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos of little in little photo albums. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen these in years. I pull out one of the dusty albums on top of the pile and we begin looking through it. Oh, it's a little baby. It's the coolest baby I've ever seen. The only way do I want well, I mean, it's a daddy dating simulator. The only way your father and I can get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. Better than a pacifier. You spent the first two years of your life with the sunglasses on. Nice. Halloween, when you were maybe four? <laughs> oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess, dragon. Hmm. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Hmm. Right, yep, definitely repress that memory. And this was you in your horse phase. Ah. Dad. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Uh. I don't think that was his men to lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatched it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Uh, go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in your ska band. And ska is amazing. Ouch, kid. Uh. The ska manifest manifesto <laughs> had a chance back in the day. I look off into the distance and reminisce about the sad horn, the rad horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. Aww. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you the whole wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Ugh. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it a little bit of effort. Oh, right. Emma P was the one who... Uh, pooped her pants during a sleepover. Dad, that was me. I did that. Oh, oh. Huh? But I was having a sleepover with Emma R, who isn't Emma P. She never told anyone, though. True blue, that Emma R. Huh. Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. Hey. Yeah, I got us a $20 gift card to McFridays. Hey. And then you got food poisoning from cheesy tostada blasts. I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z. Ugh. Dad. Still can't drive pack Miss Fridays without gagging. <laughs> Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches deep down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Aww. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Uh. I finally decide to break the silence. Uh, adopt it. Kind of a funny story. The day we brought you home, we got into a car accident. It wasn't anything big, just a little fender bender in the parking lot. But of course I was freaking out, and the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. But your father, oh man. 
He holds my hands and looks directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen him. He says, It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Oh. He was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer, maybe too long. I miss him. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Huh. She pats me on the back. Huh. Come on, Pops. We gotta finish packing. The moving man won't wait forever. You're right. Eh? Amanda and I pile out of the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Hmm. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. <laughs> hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You always were a very imaginative child. Yes. Hey, remember when I broke the pack window pl- We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Huh? There'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. Yeah. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in that house. Ah! Oh, it will forever hold a place in my heart, but stings just a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving man begins to pull away, and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rearview mirror. So. So what? So sell me on our cool new pad. I'm, I clear my throat to do my best cheesy announcer voice. Nestled in beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features... Multiple places to sleep! Not only the other bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. Yeah. What a deal! I mean, if sleep weren't for the week. You sleep more than anyone I know. I admit my faults, Pops. Keep it real. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. I think it's great. Won't be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can talk to. Won't, it be close Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to? So I don't have to waste gas? I mean, trying to park downtown is... You know. Amanda, you know you're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Ooh. Not going to happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Huh. I don't know how to do that, either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Hmm. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Hmm. In my last year of high school, I'm practically dust. Yeah, you are real. Don't you dare. Senior. Hmm. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. I'm just gonna ignore that. Oh. But I won't forget it. So it's item number one on the new house agenda. Well, first we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Mm. Pops, cool your jets. We have to promise. You have to promise me that we're gonna take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We'll pull up to the new house and step outside. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown. The for sale sign is still in the yard. Hiya! Then with a quick kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. <laughs> I got a problem with authority. I'm so proud. Man, all that karate chopping tucked me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. I gotta get my hands on a nice hot cup of the old bean juice or I'm gonna be useless all day. I think we passed the coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. Dad tip one, don't forget the floss every day. This is fun. This is cute. I like it. They did a really good job. We walk down the street to the coffee spoon, a cute little place on the corner. Man, this is such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. Let's mm -hmm. rock. Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me, and I won't feel, like, a little weird about it, because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he's just very much within my personal zone. Hmm. Dad? Now what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? 
where do you leave it there? And you feel face, did you feel your face flush hot with the shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere and you're just out of sight and you're that jerk who left their mug. Ugh. The struggle is real. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda. We walk inside. Side of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls and patrons lounge around on well-worn worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. Hey. Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Hey. Oh, it's uh it's kind of dumb. Hey. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time, and I suppose now it's still a good idea because like the business is still running. Hmm. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time. And now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking. But man, now we're we're in it now, and I can't stop. Hey. Hello. Hmm. <laughs> so what'll it be? Huh. I scan the chalkboard menu, and immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a... Godspeed, you. Black coffee. A classic. I don't get it. Oh, it's fun. Godspeed, you. Black Emperor is a really amazing and influential progressive rock band known for their sweeping soundscapes and... Hey. I'm doing the thing again. Oh. But coming right up. Hmm. And for you? I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. Hey. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? Uh, medium. <laughs> what is biggie smalls? Big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? Go sit on one of the couches. Well, that's his deal. Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Hey, hey, Scott was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfortable. It's comfier than our couch, but it's all right. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. The man did nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. You shouldn't, you should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Come on, what'd we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside, and also don't go outside, and also don't talk to people. <laughs> the struggle is real! <laughs> See, we're making progress! Matt sets our drinks down on our table and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. <laughs> Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda. This is my dad, Randall. Oh. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Hey. You want to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. Me, you two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll, may we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. Hey. You know what? Let me get your guys' opinion on something. Matt goes in the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Oh. I'm working on a new ban banana bread recipe and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're going to have to taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, would really appreciate the flavor sensations of Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give the man. Yeah, we need to give the nana bread a taste. And if you want, if you want us doing free creative labor, I think that would commiserate with. Uh, I think that would be commensurate with the. Uh, I've taught her well. Well, we have trained for this day. I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right. Yes. That. That serves each bees. The man and I happily chow down. This is amazing. Hey. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. But it's in the name? Mm. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad, dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, Grateful Banana Bread. <sighs> oh, Like the jam rock band from fronted by Jerry Garcia? What? That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Hey. Yeah, Grateful Banana Bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. Hey. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool. Once I said it, I realized it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth. Maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Hey. Hey. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Oh. See? Sounds good when you say it. 
Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet, just for a moment. Yeah. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Oh. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay. Now that we're full of caffeine, we're... Oh, okay, now that we're full of caffeine, we're two. Uh, let's get some fresh air. <laughs> Time to soak up all that vitamin D. Make sure our bones are nice and strong. Vitamin... D. Yeah, our skeletons are going to get so strong, we're going to hop right out of our bodies and crash... God damn it. Sorry if the voices are a little... Fucky. Uh, I'm still working on it. Yeah, our skeletons are gonna get so strong they're gonna hop right out of our bodies and crush cars with their bony fingers. Amanda, I already have an irrational fear that my skeleton will one day escape this flesh sack around a muck. Please don't encourage. Right. Sorry. Uh, to the park. <clears throat> Ugh, pardon me. I love the jokes. I love the humor. I I really like this game. I really love it. I do. I do. I do. Man and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. The kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Hmm. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the in that stroll over there? Government operative. Hmm. We're on to you, baby. Ah. We walk for a while and eventually end up in a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! Now! Frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Barf! Ah. A corgi with an neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. Corgis! I like your tie. Barf! He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Part upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. Barf, barf. Uh, uh, do you have tomorrow's lottery numbers? Barf. Got it. You definitely could have caught that. Got a white shirt, jogs over to us, and takes the frisbee from me. Ah, hey. oh, you know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Well, you're traditionally not supposed to aim for people's heads. But I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> ah, I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm Randall, and this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over, I look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Hi. Uh. Your dog's cool. Ah, uh, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian just was over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. Hey. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers Kazimov. Karamazov. Her teacher's telling... <clears throat> different voices for different people. That's more for me than for you. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers Karamazov. Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? <laughs> She's ten. She's a precious little youngster. Huh? Whoa. Ah. My natural dad instinct kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no, it's happening. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Brian. Go on, Daisy. Tell him about yourself. Um, I. That's my girl. Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. Randall's HP 80, Brian's HP 80. Uh, brag. Amanda here just got a recent, just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations! Brian loses 10 HP. Brian, Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. Ooh, shit. Shit. Can't switch <laughs> Spelling bee photo. Going through your phone's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy is getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will be her third win in a row. Oh, fuck. 
Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. Fuck. He's just rolling it on me. What else have we got? Uh, grade card. You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grade card out of your back pocket. Man, Dad. Awesome grades. Oh, fuck yeah! You really carry that around? You really carry that around everywhere? Ouch, maybe it is kind of weird. <laughs> it's 5 HP. Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get a top prize. A canoe! We're, ta we're taking it out next weekend. Is that even impossible? Amanda could barely get a get one of those sticky hand things. It's extra powerful. Use twenty. Fuck! Oh man, I gotta get a. Oh, Chilart. You unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of drawing out of a cornucopia Amanda did in, fir in the first grade. Cute. It isn't very impressive, but Amanda's genuine. Amanda genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. Brian loses 10 HP. Oh, hot damn. Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy. Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. You lose 10 HP. Okay, we're tied. Uh, what a band-aid, I guess. With a flourish, you produce a band-aid from your pocket. Take a need, start to apply it to Amanda's arm. Amanda, what are you doing, Dad? Being a protective parent. Anyone would agree it is an unusual gesture, so you lose 10 HP. Daisy here has all of her adult teeth. Never had a cavity, either. Amanda self-consciously pushes her lips together to hide her teeth. It's extra powerful. You lose 20, and I'm dead. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, Brian, I gotta get a good one. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful. Brian loses 20 HP. Ooh! We're darn old, Daisy's good at, by the way. Her math is amazing. One time I actually called her to double check my numbers before I made a cut to... before I made a cut for a support beam. You did that more than once, Dad. Doesn't that say more about him than it does about Daisy? Still, you lose 10 HP, and I'm dead. Boy, that's been such a great getting to meet you, too. Ah, uh, did you have to add insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. We just moved in. <clears throat> we just moved in. You live around here? <laughs> yeah, we live in the cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. What a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are a little in that little ranch-style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscape. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. Ah. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. I'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Ryan and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting along in tow. Do you get the feeling he was trying to one-up us? Mm -hmm. Trying and trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only ten. Was I? What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. <laughs> Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. Aww. Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Cramp. <laughs> we laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Uh, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Doodle doodle.